In the last video, you learned about atomic spectra and the areas electrons can be found on the periodic chart. In this video, you will learn to write the two ways to indicate the location of electrons in the atom, electron configuration, and orbital notation. There are two ways to indicate the location of the electrons in an atom, electron configuration, and orbital notation. Each neutral element has its own unique electron configuration, which can be used to identify which element you have. The configuration shown is for nitrogen. This configuration shows the arrangement of electrons around the nucleus. Orbital notation is more like a drawing that indicates the specific orbitals the electrons are located in. In this drawing, Lines are used to indicate each orbital, and arrows are used to indicate the electrons. The direction of the arrow indicates the spin of each individual electron. Pause the video now and copy the information into your periodic table in your notes. You may want to refer back to this as you learn to write electron configurations. Here is an example using the electron configuration of vanadium, which has an atomic number of 23. Remember, in a neutral atom, the number of protons equals the number of electrons, so vanadium also has 23 electrons. Notice the electron configuration has normal sized numbers, letters, and superscript numbers. The normal sized numbers in front of the letters indicate the energy level the electron is on. Electrons are always placed on energy level 1 first, so electron configurations for an atom in the ground state always start off with 1s. The letter indicates the sublevel the electron is located on within the energy level. Remember, there are four sublevels you need to be familiar with S, P, D and F. The superscript number indicates the number of electrons present on the sublevel. Notice that all the sublevels have the maximum number of electrons allowed except for the last sublevel, which may or may not be completely filled. There are some things you will need to remember when writing electron configurations. The Aufbau principle states that the electrons must be placed in orbitals of lowest energy first. This means that electrons are always placed in the 1s orbital first. A sublevel must be completely filled before placing electrons in a higher sublevel. For example, there must be two electrons in the 1s sublevel before an electron can be placed in the 2s sublevel. The last sublevel may or may not be filled. For example, the D sublevel can hold a maximum of 10 electrons because it has 5 orbitals, but vanadium has only 3 electrons on the D sublevel. The superscripts must add up to the total number of electrons in the atom. Notice that the superscripts add up to the atomic number of vanadium. 2 plus 2 plus 6 plus 2 plus 6 plus 2 plus 3 equals 23. The valence electrons, the electrons on the outermost energy level, are always s and p electrons. For example, vanadium has two valence electrons, which are located on the 4s sublevel, because energy level 4 is the highest energy level written. Notice that vanadium is on the fourth period or row, in the periodic chart, which corresponds to the energy level on which the valence electrons are located. There are several ways you can remember the order that the electrons are placed into the sublevels. One way is to simply memorize the following 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s2, 3d10, 4p6, 5s2, 4d10, 5p6. This will help you get the electron configurations through the element xenon. Another way is to memorize the following diagram, sometimes called the diagonal rule. By following the arrows, you will be able to write the correct electron configuration. Always start at the top with 1s. 
then 2s, 2p, 3s, 3p, 4s, 3d, 4p, 5s, 4d, 5p, 6s, 4f, 5d. The third way to remember the order the electrons fill the sublevels is to actually use the periodic table. Always start with hydrogen in the top left, then move across each row. Once again, we always start filling the electrons in the 1s orbital. Then 2s, 2p, 3s, 3p, 4s, 3d, 4p, 5s, 4d, 5p, 6s, 4f, 5d, 6p, 7s, 5f, 6d, 7p. One question you might have is why don't the electrons fill all the sublevels on an energy level before moving to the next energy level? For example, why is the 3d sublevel filled after the 4s sublevel? Notice on the energy diagram that it takes less energy for an electron to be in the 4s orbital than the 3d orbital. The Aufbau principle states that electrons fill the orbitals of lower energy first, so the 4s is typically filled before the 3d. At this point, I have to make a disclaimer. We are not teaching you the exceptions to the Aufbau principle. For example, copper, element number 29, has a predicted electron configuration of 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s2, 3d9. However, the correct electron configuration of copper is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s1, 3d10. There are a number of exceptions, but we are going to ignore them in this class. Here is an orbital notation diagram using vanadium as the example. Notice that the orbital notation diagram corresponds to the electron configuration of vanadium, which was 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s2, 3d3. The lines in the diagram represent the orbitals. Notice that one line is drawn for each s sublevel, three lines are drawn for each p sublevel, and five lines are drawn for the d sublevel. The arrows represent the electrons. Notice that there are 23 arrows because vanadium has 23 electrons. Notice that some of the orbitals in the d sublevel are empty, but they are still drawn. Notice that each orbital can only hold up to two electrons, and they must have opposite spin, shown by one up arrow and one down arrow. This is called the Pauli exclusion principle. Notice that the D sublevel is not full. When this happens, electrons are placed one at a time into each orbital of the sublevel until each sublevel has one electron in it. These electrons have the same spin, represented by all up arrows. This is called Hund's rule. Consider the potassium atom. Potassium is element number 19, meaning it has 19 electrons. We must place these electrons in order according to the Aufbau principle. The correct order is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s1. If you add up the superscripts, 2 plus 2 plus 6 plus 2 plus 6 plus 1, they add up to 19 the correct number of electrons in potassium. Letter B asks us to draw the orbital notation. The orbital notation must correspond to the electron configuration. The 1s sublevel has one orbital. The 2s sublevel has one orbital. The 2p sublevel has three orbitals. 
the 3s sublevel has one orbital, the 3p sublevel has three orbitals, the 4s sublevel has one orbital. There are two electrons in the 1s sublevel. There are two electrons in the 2s sublevel. There are six electrons in the 2p sublevel. Remember, we fill each orbital with one electron before doubling them up. There are two electrons in the 3s sublevel. There are six electrons in the 3p sublevel. And there is only one electron in the 4s sublevel. Letter C asks, in which sublevel are the valence electrons? Find the highest energy level written in the electron configuration. This tells you where the valence electrons are located. For potassium, it is the 4s sublevel. Letter D asks, how many valence electrons does potassium have? You can either look at the superscripts in the electron configuration or the number of arrows in the orbital notation diagram. Both of them indicate that the potassium only has one valence electron. Letter E asks, the electrons with the highest energy are in which sublevel? Look at the last sublevel written in the electron configuration. For potassium, it is the 4s sublevel. Consider the bromine atom. Bromine is element number 35, meaning it has 35 electrons. We must place these electrons in order according to the Aufbau principle. The correct order is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s2, 3d10, 4p5. If you add up the superscripts, 2 plus 2 plus 6 plus 2 plus 6 plus 2 plus 10 plus 5, they add up to 35, the correct number of electrons in bromine. Letter B asks us to draw the orbital notation. The orbital notation must correspond to the electron configuration. The 1s sublevel has one orbital. The 2s sublevel has one orbital. The 2p sublevel has three orbitals. The 3s sublevel has one orbital. The 3p sublevel has three orbitals. The 4s sublevel has one orbital. The 3d sublevel has five orbitals. And the 4p has three orbitals. There are two electrons in the 1s sublevel. There are two electrons in the 2s sublevel. There are six electrons in the 2p sublevel. Remember, we fill each orbital with one electron before doubling them up. There are two electrons in the 3s sublevel. There are six electrons in the 3p sublevel. There are two electrons in the 4s sublevel. There are 10 electrons in the 3d sublevel. And there are five electrons in the 4p sublevel. Letter C asks, in which sublevel are the valence electrons? Find the highest energy level written in the electron configuration. This tells you where the valence electrons are located. For bromine, Valence electrons are located in both the 4s and 4p sublevels. Letter D asks, how many valence electrons does bromine have? You can either look at the superscripts in the electron configuration or the number of arrows in the orbital notation diagram. Both of them indicate that bromine has seven valence electrons. Letter E asks, the electrons with the highest energy are in which sublevel? Look at the last sublevel written in the electron configuration. For bromine, it is the 4p sublevel. Pause the video and try problems 9 and 10 in your packet. Continue the video when you are ready for the answers. Here are the answers to numbers 9 and 10 in your packet. 
To write the abbreviated configuration, or noble gas configuration, for an element, look to the noble gas in the previous period. Place brackets around the symbol to indicate the element has the same configuration of that noble gas, plus whatever follows. In the example, you need to write the electron configuration and abbreviated configuration for iron. Iron has 26 electrons, so the electron configuration is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s2, 3d6. The boxed portion of the electron configuration is the configuration for the noble gas on the previous period, which is argon. So instead of writing all of that out, you can put the symbol for argon in brackets, then write just the rest of the electron configuration, 4s2, 3d6. In the next video, you will learn how to draw Lewis dot diagrams, which are necessary for what you will do in the next unit. Thanks for watching.